The town sounded at a President's Day protest across the country over President Trump declaring that national emergency to get funding for a border wall. People chanted and held up signs supporting immigrants and slamming President Trump. And just hours ago, California became one of 16 states to file a lawsuit claiming the emergency declaration is unconstitutional. Let's get to Adrian Moore live in the newsroom now with this developing story. Adrian. Tony and Sharon, tonight House Democrats are trying to attract enough Republican support to move a joint resolution through Congress. But the White House continues to defend the declaration, suggesting the president is ready to veto any congressional effort to overturn the move. From Chicago crisis, no to, swallow. to Pittsburgh. This is what democracy looks like. And Denver. There were protests on this President's Day after President Trump declared a national emergency. 45 is just a facsimile of every single dictator that's ever existed in human history. Rallies were held in more than 100 communities across the country. Demonstrators are voicing their frustration. The emergency declaration will divert billions in federal funds to help build a border wall. The White House says it will cover the cost with a pair of Defense Department funds totaling around $6 billion. We should take action to disapprove uh, of this um, excessive use of executive power. The White House maintains the president will fight back against any opposition. He's going to protect his national emergency declaration guaranteed. But the pushback includes political and legal challenges. California and attorneys general from 15 other states have now filed suit, alleging the declaration is unconstitutional. And Democrats in Congress plan to proceed with a resolution of disapproval, which could pass the House and the Republican-controlled Senate. But without a two-thirds majority, the president could veto it. And according to the latest CBS News poll, 66% of Americans oppose a national emergency declaration for the border wall. Now, a group of Senate Democrats, including a handful of 2020 presidential contenders, have introduced what's called the Protecting Disaster Relief Funds Act that would prevent President Trump from using money from Homeland Security, HUD, and the Army Corps of Engineers to finance a border wall. The senators backing the bill include Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, and Kirsten Gillibrand. And over the weekend, the Centers for the Center for Biological Diversity, Border Network for Human Rights, and a group of Texas landowners, as well as the ACLU, all announced lawsuits against the Trump administration. Each argues the president is using this emergency declaration to bypass Congress. Tony. Adrian, thank you.